What up, though? And welcome back to my new YouTube channel, Old School Hip Hop Head Rio Reacts. Now, I made this reaction for my other YouTube channel, my Rio's Reaction channel, which is 99.9% .9 Old School Golden Era Hip Hop, because this guy fits into that category. This is cannabis. So this is the J.R. Ewing Freestyle from 2001. And I'm going to be dead ass honest with you, yo. I already did the reaction, but I don't listen. I hate cannabis. I hate cannabis as much as I hate Eminem, right? <laughs> I was going to say more, but that's not true. I'm going to say they equal. I have equal hate for these niggas, right? Now, the reason I posted it on this channel is because the first verse is all about dissing Marshall and you motherfucking stands. And, you know, I found that shit hilarious. <laughs> I didn't know cannabis and Marshall had beef, son. Like he <laughs> and the shit he said was funny. So I'm like, fuck it. You know, I guess the I you know, I guess the troll you motherfucking stairs, you goofy motherfuckers. So, yo, like I said before, all you motherfuckers out here say I be clickbaiting with my Eminem titles, the Eminem hater or whatever. Nah, nigga, I don't fuck with that nigga. But when y'all sending me fire ass tracks, I ain't gonna sit here and be like, oh, that shit wasn't good. Like, shut the fuck up, nigga. You got ears. <laughs> you know that shit was fire. So, yo, uh, yo, this is special for you motherfucking stands out there. Have a great weekend, stands. Cannabis, JRU, and Freestyle. He got a lot to say about you niggas. Let's get it. Uh, so, we going to get into this cannabis freestyle, yo. So, J.R. Ewing freestyle from 2021. I am completely unfamiliar with this shit. I don't remember a song called J.R. Ewing, but then again, I never be knowing the fucking uh, titles to songs. So, without further ado, yo, let's get into this. I don't know if this is like on somebody's uh, album. I don't know if this is like live in studio. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But you can stand out there know that I don't fuck with this whack nigga. Um, but every now and then, he does surprise me. Like, I'm going to be dead ass honest. I think I probably got like, I don't know, eight to ten cannabis reactions on here. And he was a height and full of them. You know, so he batting about 50% right now. He's shooting, a, you know, respect, but somewhere between 30 and 40%. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, that ain't bad. It ain't complete dog shit. I mean, it's it's, it's not good, but... It ain't complete dog shit for you can of stands out there, you know. Hopefully that help you niggas out when I shit on these bars. This nigga about to, about to uh, regurgitate right now. All right, let's get to it. Why does nigga always uh, dressed in uh, $120 worth of clothing, too? I mean, damn. I know LL took all his budget, but goddamn, nigga. It's like always a goddamn white beater with no muscles. Fake ass, Ja Rule. Cannabis, 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 cannabis,
sauce to cause a little controversy. Came from doing a concert out in Jersey last Thursday. What had to be the sauce? Eminem wanted to hurt me. He called my name out more than a few times and tried to embarrass me. His mind was very weak. I didn't know he had words for me. I bet he's probably never even heard of me. Ever since I met Stan, he took it kind of personally. It didn't even occur to me. He was involved personally with Stan earlier than me. Now he's perturbed to me. I seen him on the street last week. He cursed at me. He told me. I need the lyrics for this show. And any time. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I got the lyrics. I can find the lyrics for this and a better sound quality because it sounds like he going at, at the Marshall and the motherfucking stands. Yo, if he going at the Marshall and the stands, this could be my new favorite song. <laughs> all right, man. I couldn't find the fucking lyrics, so we just gonna have to thug it up with the volume turned all the way the fuck up and here catch these bars. Don't got my eyes fixated on. I just put an ad in the sauce to cause a little controversy. Came from doing a concert out in Jersey last Thursday. A kid said Eminem wanted to hurt me. He called my name out more than a few times and tried to embarrass me. His mind was very weak. I didn't know he had words for me. I bet he's probably never even heard of me. Ever since I met Stan, he took it kind of personally. It didn't even occur to me. He was involved personally with Stan earlier than me. Now he's perturbed to me. I seen him on the street last week. He cursed at me. He told me him and D12 were gonna murder me. And any time that I'm ready. That he's got a verse for me Damn, I didn't know he was that thirsty for me I guess he ain't the only MC that's nervous to me There's a person <laughs> in the game with more courage than me From France to Germany, they call me the first in the beat Yo, Stans, he said that Marshall was thirsty for him Running up on him, trying to battle him and shit He's just looking at him like Man, who the fuck is this? The fuck out of here, you little dusty ass motherfucker Fuck out of here Meanwhile, it's Eminem <laughs> That's but that's his rap man, his MC mentality. He looking at M, like Eminem as like, how dare you try to challenge me, nigga? You know who I am. I'm the can of this man. <laughs> this nigga's funny, dog. I'm running that whole verse back just because he shouldn't understand. It's not because it was dope. I mean, I mean, it wasn't dope at all, but it's funny. <laughs> Thousand miles away from home, thinking about the throne. I got my eyes fixated on. I just put an ad in the sauce to cause a little controversy. Came from doing a concert. Said thinking about the dome. I got my eyes fixated on. He wanted to hurt me. He called my name out more than a few times and tried to embarrass me. His mind was very weak. I didn't know he had words for me. I bet he probably never even heard His friend was very weak. Stanley took it kind of personally. It didn't even occur to me. That's funny. His friends were very weak. I'm surprised he ever heard of me because, like, he cannabis. He Eminem, like what? Like why are you even fucking with me? I'm an underground MC, an underground rapper. Like why are you even thinking about me? <laughs> That's pretty funny, dog. This thing is creative. I feel bad. Ever since I met Stan, he took it kind of personally. It didn't even occur to me. He was involved personally with Stan earlier than me. Now he's perturbed to me. I seen him on the street last week. He cursed at me. He told me him and D12 were going to murder me. And any time that I'm ready, that he's got a verse for me. Damn, I didn't know he was that thirsty for me. I guess he ain't the only MC that's nervous to me. They ain't Hello? the in the game with more courage than me. From France to Germany, they call me the merchant of beef. What you want, yo? Red or white meat? Meet me in Petty. I'm with JR. You in sightseeing. And man, I got a nice feeling. I'm working on my fourth album, and now that I think about it, I had a tight career. Haven't I made it quite? Say so you want to see me? Meet me in Perry. I'm with JRU and Sightseer. Like <laughs> that bar means something to me because I know who the fuck JRU ain't is, nigga. I watched Dallas when that shit first came on. I'm old as a motherfucker. I used to sit there and watch it with my mom and them. Dog, I ain't bullshitting. That was the talk of the town. Dallas and Dynasty, nigga, don't front. That was the shit back in the 80s, nigga, the early 80s, too. <laughs> Dallas had the ill theme song. Yo, J.R. Ewing was an ill nigga. <laughs> he was like the first real ill rich motherfucker I ever seen with my eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? Watching this nigga on TV, this is a wild nigga. You know what I'm saying? He was fucking bitches. He was jet set. He had the fly ass suits all the time. Like, J.R. Ewing was an ill nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so that part means something to me. You know what I'm saying? That nigga say he had Perry with J.R. Ewing, nigga. Doing some fly shit. <laughs> J.R. Ewing type shit, nigga. J.R. Ewing was Donald Trump before the rappers started using Donald Trump as a reference point for rich white motherfuckers. J.R. Ewing was, the, was that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on my fourth album, and now that I think about it, I had a tight career. Haven't I made it quite clear? Lyrically, I always be right here, and nobody can snatch my mic here. Rip the jacket was oh. a nightmare. I seeing the man, I got a nice feeling. Oh, I'm working on me from France to 
Germany, they call me the merchant of beef. What you want, yo? Red or white meat? Meet me in Petty, I'm with JR, you in sightseeing. And man, I got a nice feeling. I'm working on my fourth album, and now that I think about it, I had a tight career. Haven't I made it quite clear? Lyrically, I always be right here, and nobody can snatch my mic here. Rip the Jacker was a nightmare. Jack the Rippers, who he reminds me of, and I don't really like that. What kind of life is that? It's like Anthony Hopkins giving Norman Bates a nightcap. Damn, I could write raps. I'm good at it, ain't I? Niggas call my name out cause they want the mic back But I raised the price so high that in fact The market is collapsing, niggas don't know how to act I guess the world's chaos is spilling over the rack They make you sign a contract and con you out of your tracks Don't act like you don't know this The man with the organic tongue and the golden spit I left you frozen stiff with Fire! Fire! That nigga say don't act like you don't know this The man with the organic tongue and a fire spit Is that what he said? That was hard <laughs> I, yo, I get his black nigga his props when he spit fire. Let's get it. Act like you don't know this. The man with the organic, organic tongue, tongue and golden spit. spit. I left you frozen stiff with molten aluminum molded tips. I pierce a hole through a brick. You know I could rip. Say give me five, I show you six. Quicker than you could blink. Probably quicker than you could think. As quick as ink drives. <laughs> My rhymes are contagious like pink eye. They hypnotize. <laughs> I'm ill matter like mine. I'm still mad like Escobar. Probably quicker than you could think. As quick as ink drives. My rhymes are contagious like pink eye. They hypnotize you to dick ride. I'm ill matter like Nas. I'm still mad like Escobar. No, I'm not still at it with Tar. Don't blame me. It ain't my fault. It never was. Before I even knew him, I already had a buzz. But that was then. And this is now. Bitch been ripping it down since the day he came out. See, I've been there. Done that. I don't even have to make a comeback. I move over to France where the love's at. Become a bureaucrat. Stop cutbacks. Create a cure for AIDS. With a device that connects to the nutsack. Capable of altering a man's blood pattern. Humanitarians will love that. I start a label with other acts. Get a couple plaques and completely cover the map. Before <laughs> <laughs> now this nigga out here trying on some Polar Surprise shit. He out here trying to save niggas and cure AIDS and all that kind of shit. What are you strapping to niggas' dicks? Nigga, you talking about rubbers? Nigga, what is you talking about? Nigga, that ain't new. Oh no. Let me run it back. This nigga's funny, dog. Friends, where the love's at, become a bureaucrat, stop cutbacks, create a cure for AIDS with a device that connects to the nutsack, capable of altering a man's blood pattern. Humanitarians will love that. I okay. start a label with other acts, get a couple plaques, and completely cover the map before I come back. I want to give Alyssa Keys a kiss, compose a ballad, and just make a fiend for this. I'm an extremist when I'm on some MC shit. Compose a ballad, just make a fiend for this. Ah, for I come this. Back. I want to give Alyssa Keys a kiss, compose a ballad, and just make a fiend for this. I'm an extremist when I'm on some MC shit And after this you can never not believe in bits Terry Stone UK click keeping it thick Use my name motherfuckers when you speak in the bits J.R.G. Are many blanco Take on mono we mono Lenny Braw on the bongos I'm a pro As A.M.D. Studio That bass fire That's just me All right, man. Yo. <laughs> Y'all know I be looking to clown this nigga at every opportunity, but that song was kind of sweet, dog. I ain't going to front. <laughs> he started out shitting on Marshall, took a little jab at LL, you know what I mean? But the fact that he was shitting on Marshall, that rank, that bumps this one up a lot, you know what I mean? <laughs> and the nigga had a lot of witty shit in there. That shit was funny and creative, dog. This is the side of cannabis. He probably should have stayed in this lane. I probably could have fucked with him more. But, um, <laughs> like, this nigga's an MC, dog. He got talent. Like, this nigga's a, a real MC, dog. Um, but I don't fuck with son. He just, that nigga's just a clown nigga to be. <laughs> he is literally Rico with the Coke bottle glasses to be, son. By herself. The nigga by herself. Yeah, clown nigga too. Flossing major chips, Rolex, everything. Clown nigga, huh? I'm retarded if you ask me. Niggas got him outside right now. The nigga out front? Right out front. Straight up. But anyway, man. On to the next one. I'm out.